Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Agatha Christie's and then one and on with me and then there were none with me and Cassie Gamer. Last time well, we did a more, some more exploring, we are just trying to ask everyone, everyone's sort of like gone off on their own and not really, oh there's Mr. Bloor. Now I know there's something in here we need. How goes the investigation, Bloor? Better than yours, I'll wager. Who do you think the killer is? Rogers, of course. In my experience, he's almost always a servant. And he's the only one still standing. Rogers' background seems like an open book. He may have had a motive for killing his wife, but why kill the others? The judge thinks it's a maniac. That's motive enough. Even maniacs have motives that make sense to them. Perhaps. Not being one, I wouldn't have an opinion about that. Any idea who Mr. Owen's next victim will be? I'm the biggest threat to him. A professional investigator? He's lucky he's gone undetected this long. I'm closing in and he knows it. Well, until we get to you, my friend. Could you help me sew these sheets together to make a parachute? Better ask Miss Brent. She's placed herself in charge. Good evening, Mr. Bloor. And that's all we are, all you have to find all of them to talk to. And then it triggers the next part of the... So you, you don't actually have to do any exploring in the rooms, so you just have to talk to everyone. Everyone should be asleep by now. Those still awake must certainly be up to no good. Present company excluded, of course. To go out in that storm now would be reckless and foolhardy. Locked. Let's see who's awake, shall we? I can't open it. It's locked. Locked. It would be incredibly improper for me to go through a lady's luggage. I won't do it. Philip, you cannot come in. My intentions are strictly honorable. I'm here to protect you. It might be a good idea for him to stay. Patrick? Are you here to protect me as well? If necessary. Oh, that's very gallant of you. If true. I only have your best interests at heart. I too. Gentlemen, I appreciate your concern. But I will be quite all right. I intend to put furniture in front of all my doors. We all need sleep, I think. Please excuse me. A piece of advice, Narakot. You may get the killer, but I intend to get the girl. And if she's the killer, well, that will make for some rather interesting evenings at home, won't you it? You little bastard. I think it's time for me to get some sleep. I can barely keep my eyes open. We're 
all a bit late this morning. I slept the clock round. A sign of a clear conscience, Doctor? Or just a nightcap or two? Uncalled for, Judge. Totally uncalled for. No smell of coffee. The stove in the kitchen is cold. Where's breakfast? We were just wondering the same thing. Miss Brent isn't in her room. Has anyone else noticed the dining room is locked up tight? Rogers did that, so no more Sailor Boy figurines could be broken. I didn't talk to Rogers. How would he know that? Hmm. He seems to have got the cart before the horse, if you ask me. Kitchen door to the outside is locked as well. Perhaps he's chopping firewood for the stove. I confess I don't like it. Both Rogers and Miss Brent missing? Mr. Narricott, would you mind having a look around outside? Certainly. You don't mind if I tag along, I'm sure. Good morning, Miss Narricott. I'm afraid the sea is as high as ever. I doubt we'll see a boat from the mainland today. Have you been wandering about the island alone, Miss Brent? Don't you realize that is an exceedingly foolish thing to do? I'm in no danger when I'm alone, Miss Lord. She doesn't get it at all. I'm sticking to you, Narricott. Let's find Rogers. Let's find Rogers then. Because this way. Either he's a good five feet taller or cut clean in half. Dead, of course. Yes, we don't need Dr. Armstrong to tell us that. Or to fix the cause of death. Axe looks cleaned off. A tidy chap like Rogers would have approved. Dining room key, I expect. He was holding it. Rogers is now in his bedroom. Look! Chapter 5. Six little sailor boys playing with a hive. A bumblebee stung. Oh dear. And then Who's allergic five. to bees? My compliments to Miss Claythorne and Mr. Bloor for breakfast. We have to eat to keep our strength up. I'm a domestic sort of man. I don't mind. Since it is now certain the killer is following the rhyme over the fireplace in the front parlor, our course is clear. Miss Brent. You have an allergy to bee stings. The next little sailor boy is meant to lose his life in the same way. We will do our utmost to protect you. I have something I'd like to say since Mr. Owen is undoubtedly here in this room keeping his strength up. The others may have done what your recording claimed, but I am not guilty of anything. Beatrice Taylor died of her own sins, not by my hand. I feel certain you now see you were in error when you invited me here to face your judgment. That's a nervy speech, if you ask me. I was just doing my job. Miss Brent, you cannot assume Owen is behaving rationally in any way. If you'd seen what he did to Rogers... Doctor, I will thank you to keep your opinions to yourself. Coming from the bottom of a bottle as they do, they are worse than useless. How dare you! I'm sure Mr. Owen and I understand one another. I'm going to collect my knitting. I'll be on the front patio if anyone needs me. I can't see anyone needing that woman, ever. If you'll excuse me, I'll just go up to my room and fresh... That is to say... I must say, Mr. Narricott, I'm disappointed. Four dead now. My confidence in you seems to have been misplaced. I may have to take more direct action. Oh dear. There's been a murder. Surely I should use this time to thoroughly search for clues. Right, let's go and have a look for the sewing that we need. We need to find some sewing bits. Oh, hold on. We need that.
Better to let the dead rest in peace. I copied the contents into my notebook. Nothing else to see about that. I can't see anything of interest. I copied the contents into my notebook. Let's try and explore everywhere now. certainly be noticed if I rifle right. through his luggage. I better not. Now, the LP I'm watching, um, they actually... No, don't want to go in there. The LP I'm watching, they actually cut a lot of uh, searching out. But, because I know... Go away, please. I don't want to talk to anyone. Really? Radiator. You can't have enough of them, really. It would be incredibly improper for me to go through a lady's luggage. I won't do it. It would certainly be noticed if I rifled through her luggage. I'd better not. But you're quite willing to maybe go through the dead luggage, like aren't you? speak to me that way at breakfast. Didn't I? It's still morning and you're drunk already. Thanks to you. Doctor, as you yourself must know, blaming others for one's own faults is a favorite trick of the alcoholic. You cloak yourself in religion, but you're the most unchristian woman I've ever met. You're a devil. A devil, do you hear me? I'm certain everyone can hear you, Doctor. Eavesdropping is impolite, Mr. Narricott, but under the circumstances, I'm glad you overheard. That isn't going to help. Perhaps another time. That doesn't make well, sense. You have to give it to the. This is neither the time nor the place. Enjoying the break in the weather, Miss This island has only two types of weather. Gloomy and slightly less gloomy. I am taking advantage of this brief, slightly less respite. Could you help me sew these sheets together to make a parachute? I suppose I could. There's a sewing kit in the servants' quarters. The needles would work, but I don't think the thread would be strong enough. You were pretty hard on Dr. Armstrong. No more than he deserved. I only wonder that he didn't kill more people operating drunk than that one woman Owen mentioned. 
Cleese, was it? Armstrong was trying to help you at breakfast. I do not require his help, or yours. The Lord is mindful of his own. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror at night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. You are the next logical victim, Miss Brent. I disagree. Owen's bee sting might be many things. One of my knitting needles, perhaps. Even a hypodermic needle. I suspect the doctor has one of those in his medical bag. Besides, I'm confident that the angel of death will pass me over. Anything else that might be important? I can't vouch for its importance, but something rather annoying has happened. What? Someone has taken my grey wool. All of it. I won't be able to finish this shawl without it. Good day, Miss Brent. I give her anything now? Good. These will work splendidly. Where's those silk? Where are they? They don't get along. I can't take that apart. They don't get well, along. For some reason, the silk sheets have gone. Saved it for a while. Oh, I can't believe that. Why are they gone? Right, um, I'm going to save the game quickly. And I'm just going to redo um, that bit. I'm going to get back to this bit. So I'll be right back, guys. So give me... Well, I'll, I'll jo rejoin you back in the next video. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Drop me a like. Leave me a comment. And I'll see you when we get back to here. Bye for now.